Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will again learn another interesting topic, which is inner and outer products of the vector. Okay, so let's jump into this uh, subject quickly. Okay. So <clears throat> today we'll talk about inner and outer products of the vector. So let's consider we have two vectors. A is a vector, B is a vector, and both are column vectors. And in this case, it's a three by one. And in this case also, it's a three by one. Now, if we want to do <clears throat> the product of A and B, it's, it's not possible, right? Because we know from the product rule point of view, if we have a M by N matrix, then another matrix should be n by p so this number of columns of the first matrix and the number of rows of the second matrix should be same in this case it's not so it's not possible so how we'll do that very simple we'll do the a transpose and b and what will happen if you do a transpose then we will basically create this kind of row vector now so we converted this column vector into a row vector and with that we'll multiply this the interesting thing is now it will not be a vector because it will be a1 b1 plus a2 b2 plus a3 b3 which is a scalar so this is the important thing now let's point to the sum of the properties so a transpose b if this result is coming zero, which implies that A and B both are orthogonal. Orthogonal, which means they are kind of perpendicular on each other. And <clears throat> another thing is norm. This is another terminology which you should be familiar. What is this? The norm of a vector mean nothing but it's basically a transpose oops sorry a transpose a and square root so what will happen if you do the a transpose that means it's this one and along with this if you have multiply a so basically your result will be a1 square plus a2 square plus a3 square we put the square and then we have a square root <clears throat> okay so this is the norm of a vector now now we know the norm, so there is another very interesting concept is A is, A vector is normalized, normalized, let me <coughs> just make it a little bit better font, mm, okay, normalized, normalized if the norm of this vector is coming one then we called a is a normalized <clears throat> okay so now we understand what is orthogonal and what is normalized or how to find out the norm of a vector okay cool now orthogonal plus normalized so if a vector if a vector is orthogonal plus normalized normalized then what is that <clears throat> orthonormal then we orthonormal Okay, all these terms, please be understand these terms right now. <clears throat> so these are all related to the inner product. So when we are talking about the inner product, inner product means I have this table, 
or uh, sorry, this uh, vector and do the A transpose B, that's my inner product. Okay. Now we'll talk about the outer product. When we are talking about the outer product, so in this case, B is my outer uh, vector kind of a things. So let's talk about outer product. Um, and in later classes, we'll discuss more on this. So when you're talking about the outer product, in this case, basically A and B transpose. So now look what will happen. So A is A1, A2, A3. It is still a column vector, but we converted this B vector into a row vector. So B1, B2, and B3. So now the interesting thing. So this is basically three by one matrix or vector and this is one by three so we know ultimately whatever the matrix will build that will be three by three matrix so what will be the result of this one here so again it's basically a1 so basically we'll go by this a1 b1 a2 oops sorry a1 b2 a1 b3 now a2 b1 a2 b2 a2 b3 and a3 b1 a3 b2 a3 b3 so basically here we are getting a bigger matrix when you are doing the outer product of two vector so <clears throat> interesting concepts and please uh, be familiarized with all these things this will be needed in the next class so let's quickly uh, understand today we'll talk about the inner and the outer products a is a unit vector with the column vector and then we do the A transpose B, we got a scalar value. So that's basically the inner uh, product of two vectors. And if they are zero, then we can say they are orthogonal. How to find out the norm? Norm, we can find out by this, and this is the uh, way we can represent the norm actually. Norm of a vector is basically, uh, if it is a unit vector, then you one score, it to score, it is square, and then square root of that, and if A is normalized, and if we can say A is normalized, if the norm is equal to 1, if the norm is coming 1, then it's a normalized vector. Orthogonal plus normalized, then it's called orthonormal. And then we saw how to do the outer product. Okay, that's all for today's class. The next class, we'll learn more about this. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you love this, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe my channel. Thank you for your support. God bless you. Bye.